Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today I'm going to show you the difference between hardware four cameras and hardware three cameras. So this is a brand new 2024 Highlander Model 3 and this has hardware four cameras. You can tell this by the surrounds around the camera and the camera themselves. They are slightly bigger, they protrude further and the easy way to notice is they have really bad red eye. So if you look at them, they're completely stoned. The red on the eye is very obvious uh, and it's, it's there to actually stop glare, stop lights from shining in it etc etc so let's have a look we're on the camera preview section here and the first thing you can tell is this camera up here above us is actually now usable for example if i was down here let's pretend this is my phone and i'm here on my phone texting or whatever which you shouldn't be doing when driving um you can now be seen the camera can clearly see you there's no way to hide it oh scratch that Unless you move the mirror, so the mirror is completely useless for me now, but that has actually blocked it from seeing down there. Uh, but if I put the mirror it back in place where it should be, I'm now completely visible and you can see everything that I'm doing from all the way down to the crotch area, all the way on to the top of my head. Whereas on my old version, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, or actually have up on comparison now, you cannot do that. You simply cannot do that. The mirror here blocks it completely and the camera's not fish-eyed enough. And that was a big complaint or a big worry of a lot of people was how are they going to get around that, especially for the robo-taxis, which are coming in 2020, apparently. Um, that was a big concern because you could do things and the camera can't see. The camera can now see. It's a lot better, a lot more improved, uh, and it does bulge out a lot more than the other one. I wasn't able to test it at night, but I'm sure it's better than the other one. Now, interestingly enough, in the camera array at the front, there's three main cameras, and I had to check this. There definitely are three main cameras, but in the settings here, you only have main and wide. You don't have narrow. So for some reason, you can't access the narrow camera here, which is a little bit of a shame because I wanted to be able to see the quality of a narrow camera. But let's take into view here this number plate, for example, and see how clear it is. You can't move in, you can't zoom in, anything like that on here. But you can see here, you can read those quite clearly. You can read the M and the S of the Mediterranean Shipping Company. And you can see forward from the right-hand side of the car all the way up to those yellow boxes there on the floor. So again, it looks really nice, really crystal clear. And here is then the wide view, which I always find very impressive. And you can see again the housing here. If I put my finger underneath, you can see my finger running underneath the housing. And that's how wide it is. Again, really nice and wide. We're getting a little bit of weird artifacting here on the right-hand side. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but otherwise, really nice, really wide. Shows nice and close to the car. But of course, the car can't quite see still what's right in front of it under the bonnet. And I was expecting these cars to come with a new uh, front front bumper camera like the Cybertruck has. Uh, but sadly, they don't have that, which is a little bit of a concern. But it is what it is left door pillar you can see here it's really windy this morning nice and clear crystal clear the colors are great it's got a really nice wide angle i'm not sure what this little black bar is down the bottom here i assume that the camera can actually see all the way down here because on mine it can but for some reason on this car it's not showing that bottom bit left fender here again the greens look nice sky is nice nothing's blown out of proportion the motion's good really nice clarity Let's have a look at the right door pillar. Again, nice and clear. There's there's no like zoom or anything available on these, and I assume that the system itself won't zoom or use anything like that. The right fender. Again, looking really good. And then to finish it off, and this one's definitely had the biggest change as well, is the rear view. Now, the rear view on this is crazy. It's actually crazy. It looks like we're looking out of a mouth of the rear of the car or maybe something else out the rear of the car, but let's call it a mouth for now. And you can see all the way down the side of the spoiler or underneath the spoiler where you'll grab it. You can see all of the number plate curving around there and the edges of each side of the number plate. And it looks really nice and crystal clear down the middle as well. It makes such a difference. It's really, really nice. The colors really pop. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically hardware four cameras. Let's compare these then, and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of every single camera in the exact same spot cons compared to a hardware three, model three. 
We're now going to test out the hardware three cameras. So this is my 2019 Tesla Model 3 with the full self-driving capability. Let's have a look at the camera preview on here. Now, normally this interior camera doesn't work. There you go, cabin camera, it's just a black screen. And I can't figure out why it works sometimes and why it doesn't work other times. I thought it was about being on Wi-Fi, but you can see we're on Wi-Fi here. The camera just doesn't work. I have no idea for the reason why. Um, but the camera ba basically up here, let's just see if it will flick over one time no so the camera up here though it can't see down to like past my stomach um and also is blocked by the mirror up there whereas with the new hardware 4 that's not a problem the camera is pointing more down and it can see everything going on in the cabin so the main camera here is one of the three cameras up in this cluster and this is why i was confused with hardware 4 we've got main wide and narrow whereas on hardware 4 it only gave us access to main and wide however i did go up and look at the cluster here and you can clearly see there are three cameras so i'm not sure why it's not got access to the narrow camera but that's all for now <clears throat> so you can see here as well the text on the number plate here of this land rover is nowhere near as good as hardware 4 the MSC for Mediterranean Shipping Company is quite tricky to see as well. And just the general clarity, the color, the grain, it doesn't look good. It's definitely not punchy um, and everything's a bit washed and a bit faded. And if I run my finger under here, you can see, you can see it moving across there still as well at the bottom of the housing. So let's swap that then to the wide camera. This wide camera, I think, is even more impressive than Hardware 4. It seems to show a lot more. Hardware 4 almost had this bottom section cut off every single time. And you can see I've got a little bit cut off, but it's a little bit lower down. And look at how wide you can see there. You can see all the way down to the right. And again, if I put my finger here, you can actually see it through this little slot here. Really nice wide view. But this is what it was missing on the other one, the narrow camera. Now that actually looks kind of zoomed in like the main camera was, but you can tell it's different because we can't quite see the number plate of the car. You can see the MSC for Mediterranean Shipping Company there quite nice and easily. You can even just about read the text on the other side of the door. Again, in terms of clarity, in terms of color, it is just not matching hardware for a tool. Um, and I guess that's to be expected. Left door pillar here, again, it's nice and wide. It's nice and fairly bright, but the color is lacking. It is a gray day, we're in the UK, what do you expect? Um, these are still my favorite cameras, the pillars to use on sentry mode. They show the most and they show access to the door, which I think is most important. And then looking at the left fender here, the left fender, again, a little bit lower looking quality in my opinion. The colors don't really pop at all. Uh, you can see there as the car going through, the frame rate seems low. It seems, it seems around the 24, I guess, something around 24 frames per second. Please, if someone knows, let me know in the comment section. It's definitely not a high frame rate. Um, and yeah, this these do get blinded out quite easily and quite quickly, especially even sometimes by the indicator itself. If this was at night, oh, look at that. It doubles, it double views the camera. Huh, that's quite interesting. Um, at night, you can actually see the flash of the amber or the orange in your indicator. And then again here with the right door pillar. Again, a little bit grainy, a little bit artifacty. Um, but if I just open this, there you go. You can see, yeah, it's, it's definitely not, not a high frame rate. It's a pretty low frame rate. And uh, yeah, you can see it's actually tucked in there in the glass. There you go. You can see it trying to trying to recover. I should have done this with the hardware four one, but you can see we get quite a few artifacts uh, when I cover it up and do that. Oops. Right fender as well. The right fender there, looking the same. Pretty grey, pretty miserable looking down here. Not super high frame rate again, um, but you know it is what it is. I really wish you could access these cameras when you were driving like this and have them up maybe in the corners of the screen or something because um, I actually use the cameras more than the mirrors. I rarely, if any, any time use my mirrors. And again, like I said, this was a huge difference here was the rear view camera. Although this is a wide fisheye look, it's nowhere near as wide as hardware 4. It actually probably has the best color of all the cameras on this hardware 3 Tesla. Um, but yeah, you can't see, for example, the edges of the boots. You can't see the top edges of the spoiler area and even the number plate and this is a smaller number plate you can't quite see the edges of that whereas whereas with hardware 4 it was really really fish-eyed and really bright and really colorful i was actually amazed by that camera
So there we have it. There's all the cameras from Hardware 3 compared to Hardware 4. I'm just going to put a side-by-side -side comparison here at the end and let me know, were you impressed? Were you slightly disappointed? Did you expect more from the cameras? Some of the cameras seemed way better, but one or two of them not quite as good, especially that wide angle and not having access to the narrow camera either. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.